I'm here with Christy McLaughlin. She is the author of The Dog Lover's Companion to Philadelphia, the inside scoop on where to take your dog here in Philadelphia. Right now, we're at one of the top places, right? The Schuylkill Dog Run? Yes, definitely. This is one of the funnest places because um, they have a small dog run for the little pups right. and a bigger dog run for the bigger ones. There's a water fountain and this gravel cover is excellent. They can use it pretty much all year round without the mud problems that a lot of dog parks Right. So, sometimes then you have to take your dog and shower because they're all a mess. This, yes. this gravel is a great idea. It's great. Now, who's this? This is Harry. Harry? As this opposed to furry? But exactly. well, you're covered with fur, but you're Harry. How are you? So tell me about the book. What inspired you to write it? The inspiration came from my, do my dog before him. And I used to do things on the weekends. I didn't have kids at that point, and okay. we used to do stuff all the time. And I was always looking for things to do. So this book, kind of, he inspired me to write the book and find out all about these places. It gives an overview of the whole area, not just the city, okay. um, but all the dog-friendly places, things to do, um, places to eat. Would you say that Philadelphia is pretty pet-friendly? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's becoming more so every day. So. What are the, some things that make Philadelphia unique, do you think, to the rest of the country? Well, I just think it's beautiful. I think it's it one is. of the most beautiful cities. Um, and the, you know, just the landscape of everything right. is gorgeous. We have the largest inner city landscape park in the world, which is Fairmount Park. Right. And um, that's pretty uh, unique because it spans a huge area. Yeah, that's great. And that's where Boathouse Row and all that's of that is. That's part of it, yeah. That's part of it. It goes up north from there. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And you can take a walk there and feel like you're not in a city whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You can't hear anything. Right. So that is a, a really wonderful thing to have in a city. And it is, you know, we're finding a lot of places that do allow dogs, even shops that you want right. to shop in yep. for yourself, you can bring your dog. Exactly. And those are in the book too. I did this exactly that. I found stores that you could bring your dog to rest just, you know, in addition to restaurants and things like that. Well, it's a must get book for any dog owner, especially if you're coming to Philadelphia and even if you're bringing your pet with you, there are plenty of pet friendly hotels. Yes. And uh, it you know, certainly doesn't have to be a hindrance to your trip. Your dog can be part of you the whole time you're exactly. here. Exactly. Um, one last question. Mm -hmm. What is your pet style? My pet style? It's an interesting question. <laughs> I'd have to say very laid back. Okay. Um, maybe to a fault. Um, but at, but we have a lot of fun together. So I'm kind of like one of those right. pet parents, if you want to call me that. So like if Harry wants to run here, you'll let him run and you're oh, laid yeah. back, you'll read a book. Actually, yeah. I mean, for the most part, I, I let him do as he pleases. And I have two kids that he plays really well with. So I, I really want, you know, the most for our family, like with the dog, he's part of it. He's right. not just a pet. Right. Know? He's absolutely part of the family. That's yeah. what we find with everyone. Yes. All dog owners. We, we love our pooches. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Christy McLaughlin, the dog lover's so companion much. to Philadelphia. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Let's go run. <laughs> okay.